Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Tressa and I am a fifth grade teacher in Alberta, Canada. I recently started making videos on YouTube about teaching, learning, and lifestyle. If any of that interests you, I would love to have you consider subscribing and following along. In today's video, you are joining me as I make my end of the year gifts for students. If you would like to know everything that I'm putting in this bag for my students this year, then stick around and join me for today's video. I have all of the supplies that we're going to need set up right behind me, so let's get right into it. So this year I wanted to do something extra special for my students because I haven't seen them in a few months. Often I will just give a book as my end of the year gift, but this year I just wanted to do something a little bit more. So I'm putting together gift bags for my students. So I bought a few different little things that I can put into a gift bag. Hopefully it will put a smile on their faces. So the very first thing that I'm going to be using are these super adorable emoji drawstring bags. Instead of just going to the dollar store and getting a classic treat bag or gift bag, I went on Amazon and I searched and found these. These emoji drawstring bags are from a company called Be Green and it seems like a really good company. They've already emailed me to ask me how I like the product and actually really inexpensive. So I bought two packs of 10, but a pack of 10 was only around $20. So very comparable to what I would have been paying if I just went to the dollar store. And they all come with different emojis on them. So it's kind of fun for me to be able to match the emoji to what I think the student will like. So I will be sure to link these in my description box below. I'm actually considering using them next year as homework bags for my kids. They are seemingly really durable compared to a gift bag that I would get at the dollar store that would probably just be tossed into the garbage and just super cute. The very first thing that I'm going to be sticking into each of these tree bags are these sunglasses. Now this was another Amazon purchase. I ordered them, they came in packs of 12, so I ordered two packs of 12, and I think they were around 18, 20 dollars-ish. They're actually adult size, but because I teach upper elementary, I figured it would be safer to get adult size for my kids than kid size and risk them being too small. They came with multiple colors, so there's green, yellow, blue, and red. The sunglasses seem like they are also pretty good quality and I read lots of the reviews and they were rated pretty high. So I went for these and I hope my kids will love them. Next, I bought each of my students a beach ball and I actually just picked these up from the Dollar Tree. I just got one for each of my students. I had looked on Amazon because I prefer Amazon for buying in bulk. However, something that I found about beach balls on Amazon was that where they were only 12 inches in diameter, which really isn't the size of an average beach ball. So I found these at the Dollar Tree. They're 20 inches in diameter, and so I went for these. So these will be the second item going into the bags. Now, of course, because it is an end of the year gift before summer, I am trying to stick with a summer theme. So I got each of my students one of these little packs of bubbles. And I wanted to give you a close up look because they're actually shaped like pop bottles. And the really neat thing is that they are scented. So the purple bubbles smell like grape soda, the orange bubbles smell like orange soda, and the red bubbles smell like cherry soda. I got these from the Dollar Tree and they came in a three pack. So I'm going to stick one of these in each of my students' bags. Next, I am going to put a summer drink into each of their gift bags. So I just picked up a cool a jammer for each of my kids. Um, I think I got them all fruit punch because typically I find in all my classes, everyone loves fruit punch. So I'm gonna throw one of these into the bag as a little treat and something refreshing for the summer. Now, I have a huge sweet tooth and I think that rubs off on my students a little bit throughout the year. So it would not be a gift from me without a little treat. And I put these little s'mores kits together because I think they're so cute and so fitting. I got the template for the little tag from Early Adventures on Teachers Pay Teachers. And I actually put these kits together myself. So I will share how I did that later in the video. So stay tuned. Next, 
I wrote each of my students a personalized card. So I just got a pack of cards from the Dollar Tree. It just says you're a blessing because of course each of my students are a blessing to me. But I always like to do some sort of personalized gift for my students and I think it's really important for me to write a card. I know it's so much more time efficient to just mass print something from the internet but I think it's really touching to write them each a personal card and especially this year because I haven't seen many of them in months so I sat down and wrote a personal card for each of my students that I'm going to throw into their bag and then last but not least because at the end of the day I am still a teacher I am throwing a book into each of my students bags so I recently did a Scholastic book order and I just ordered the classroom library pack for grades five to six. And I believe that that got me 30 books for around $60 and the titles kind of vary. So it gives me some options to make sure that I pick an appropriate book for the reader in my classroom. And then I just looked through Scholastic and if another book popped up that made me think of a specific student, I put that in my card and ordered that for them as well. So each student is going to get a new read for over the summer. So like I mentioned before, I am giving each of my students a book to read over the summer. And one of the things that I always loved about getting books when I was younger was when somebody had gifted it to me and they wrote on the inside cover so that every time I went to read that book, I had that message. And some of the very special people in my life as a child who passed away when I grew older gave me books. And so when I go and open those books and I see messages from people who are no longer with us anymore, it's so special to me to remember them and see their handwriting. So anyway, it really touches me when people give me a book and they write on the inside cover. So I always take that into account when I give a gift of a book to one of my students. So this year I am writing on the inside cover and I wrote this year was one for the books. Two, I write their name and love Miss Lloyd, grade five, 2019 to 20. And I thought that was a cute little pun at the top. This year was one for the books because I'm giving them a book, but also because this year is definitely gonna go down in history. So I wrote that in there so that anytime they read their book, they know it's from me and they'll think back to all the fun times in grade five. So that is everything that is going to go into my gift bags for my students this year. But I did wanna show you how to put together the s'mores kits in case it is something that you would like to make either at home or if you are a teacher for your own students. Now, I found this idea originally a few years ago, back when I was doing my pre-service teaching in university, and it was the very first gift that I ever gave a classroom of students that I actually got to teach. So I had taught a grade four class at that time, and I only spent eight weeks with them. So I put together this little packet because the little tag said, I wish we had some more time together. So when I was trying to decide on some sort of summer treat to stick into my kids' bags this year, I thought of that and I thought it was perfect. One, because s'mores and summer totally go together. And two, because it is so fitting because I do wish, I truly wish from the bottom of my heart that I had more time with my students this year because the year got cut short, we got a little bit gypped. So it is so fitting for this specific school year. So my first step was that I went on Teachers Pay Teachers to find some tags to put on my bags with the s'mores in them. And I wanted to find ones that didn't have a lot of color so that I didn't use up too much of the colored ink at school. And like I said before, I found them from Early Adventures. So I will link that in the description box below if you are interested. But I printed off a sheet with all of the tags on them or multiple sheets with the tags on them. And then I cut them out. They turned out being about this size. My next step was that I glued them onto a piece of construction paper, but just onto the bottom half because I actually wanted this to be a bag topper. So I measured it out so that it would fit nicely over the size of bag that I had purchased for the s'mores kits. So I glued it on there and then folded it so that it fits nicely over the bags. Now for this, I am using just medium size Ziploc bags. I found that the sandwich size, they were probably a good size if I was only sending one s'more, but I decided to do two for each student. And I didn't like the fold block bags because 
because I wanted the zipper seal so that they would stay fresher for longer. So I got the medium Ziploc bags and then the bag toppers that I made using the template from Teachers Pay Teachers to close it off. Next, of course, you need graham crackers. So I just bought a huge club pack from a grocery store and I put four graham crackers in each of the bags. I bought a big pack of marshmallows because they're making two s'mores. I put two marshmallows in each bag. And lastly, you need lots of snack size Hershey chocolate bars or any kind of milk chocolate bars that you can find. Um, a really good place to buy these in Canada anyway is at the Bulk Bar. So I am going to put two in each of the bags and these are actually cold right now. I had them in the freezer all day because it is hot here in Alberta and I don't want them to melt in the bags. So I thought I would start with them frozen and then keep the bags in a cool place until they are dropped off to my students' homes this week. So once I put the graham crackers, the marshmallows, and the chocolate bars in there, I folded the bag topper over the top, of course, after sealing it tightly for freshness. And then if you can see, I just stapled three times to keep the bag topper on tight and it ends up looking like this. So super simple and I think it's a really cute and kind of unique treat. It's not just some chocolate or some candy. It's something that is perfect for the summer and that I think they'll have a lot of fun with at their homes. Now my two personalized items are the card and the book. So I need to make sure that I match the name <laughs> with the proper student. But I also take into consideration like with the sunglasses, if I know they like a specific color, I'll try to give them that. And I'll try to pick the bag that I think <laughs> perhaps matches their personality or that they may prefer over another. The bubble doesn't really matter and neither do the juice or s'mores packs. So I'm just going to lay out the bags and then put the specific card and book on top. And then I will hand out the random items so that I make sure that everyone has each of the items that they are supposed to have on top of their bag. And then I'll start packing them. Just a quick note because you're probably wondering if I only have 12 kids in my class and I do not. I had 19 in my class this year, but I actually already met up with some of my kids last week, so I only have to make 12 gift bags today. because I don't want to leave a kid out or forget to put an item in a bag. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just pack up the bags and then they're gonna be ready to go.
dropped off at students' homes. So that's it for today's video. Like I said, I will be sure to link anything that I can find in the description box below. So feel free to check that out and click those links if there is anything that you would like to buy for your students or your families. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, can you please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And before you leave today, please consider hitting that red subscribe button so we can hang out in future videos. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.